Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'm going to be covering developmental theories. If you haven't done so already, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe below. I'm also now on TikTok and Instagram. My handle is the same, Nexus Nursing. So without any further ado, let's get started. First question. A nurse who wants to apply a theory that relates to moral development should read more from the work of one, Gaud, two, Freud, three, Erickson, or four, Kohlberg. Okay, guys, and the correct answer is Kohlberg. So when you're thinking of moral development, this is the theorist you should be thinking of. Now, let's look at the wrong answer choices. One, Gaud, psychosocial. Two, Freud, everyone knows Freud, what? Psychosexual. And choice three, Erickson, again, psychosocial. So uh, moral development, that there is, is Kohlberg. Next question. The nurse is using Erickson's theory to assess a 20-year-old client's developmental status, expects to find which of the following behaviors? One, coping with physical and social losses. Two, enjoys participating in the community. Three, applying self to learning skills. Or four, overcoming a sense of guilt or frustration. And guys, the correct answer is two, enjoys participating in the community. Remember, this is the stage, they're 20 years old. This is the stage they're going through intimacy versus isolation. So this is a stage where they enjoy developing these close relationships as well. Now let's look at our wrong answer choices. We have one, coping with physical and social losses. We see this more in the older age, integrity versus despair. Choice three, applying self to learning new skills. We see this more when the child's around six to 11 years old and that's in the industry versus in, um, in uh, inferiority um, stage, okay? This is where they're um, learning where they uh, fit in um, in the classroom and they're learning um, new skills and knowledge. Uh, choice four, overcoming a sense of guilt or frustration. We see this in initiative versus guilt. This is around the ages three to six, okay? So they're just leaving that toddler stage and going into the preschool stage. This is where they want to um, do things for themselves. And if they fail, if you give them a task that's just really too hard and they fail and it happens over and over and over, they develop that sense of guilt. Next question. The nurse recognizes that Freud's theory approaches development by looking at one, moral reasoning, two, logical maturity, three, psychosexual aspects, or four, cognitive development. And guys, I've already given you this answer. I think I gave you the answer in the first question, so you should all get this right. And the correct answer is three, psychosexual. Whenever you're thinking about that psychosexual, you should be thinking of Freud. Now let's look at our wrong answer choices. One, moral reasoning. Again, we talked about this in question number one. That's Kohlberg. Two, logical maturity. That's Gaud. And then four, cognitive development. That's Piaget, okay? Speaking of Piaget, according to Piaget, a preschool child, three to five years old, who comes to the clinic is expected by the nurse to exhibit which of the following behaviors? One, far-reaching problem solving. Two, exploration of the environment. Three, cooperation and sharing with others. Or four, thinking with the use of symbols and images. And the correct answer is four, thinking with the use of symbols of images. Remember, this is the age during what? The pre-operational stage. So we expect to see this between those children who are two to seven years old. Now let's look at our wrong answer choices. We have one, far-reaching problem solving. This is formal operations. We see this in the adult, okay? Um, the older child to adult. Uh, two, exploration of the environment. This is the sensor motor stage. This is about birth to two years old where they're learning about their environment through their senses. Um, three, uh, cooperation and sharing with others. This is concrete operation stage. And we tend to see this around the age seven to 11 years old. For an older adult client, an example of a common behavioral task or critical event is one, selecting a mate, 
two, rearing children, three, finding a congenial social group, or four, adjusting to decreasing physical strength. And the correct answer, guys, is four, adjusting to decreasing physical strength. And they gave us a hint in the question. What did they say? Older adult client. And you know, when you become an older adult, you have to come to terms that your body just isn't what it used to be. Okay, so let's look at our other answer choices, the wrong ones. One, selecting a mate. We see this more for what? The early adulthood. Two, rearing children. We see that in middle adulthood. And three, finding a congenial social group. We see that in about middle to uh, early adulthood, okay? The nurse working in an adult medical clinic wishes to learn more about a developmental theory that focuses on the adult years. The nurse investigates different possibilities and selects the theory proposed by one, Gaud, two, Piaget, three, Freud, or four, Chess and Thomas. And the correct answer one is Gaud, okay? Gaud specifically focuses on the adult, okay? On the adult group. Now let's look at our wrong answer choices. You have two, Piaget, that actually focuses on all the groups from birth to death. Um, Freud, same thing. They focus on groups throughout the entire lifespan. And then Chess and Thomas, they actually focus on childhood to early adult. Okay, so the correct answer uh, for the adult group would be number one, gown. The nurse recognizes that which of the following statements about growth and development is correct. One, development ends with adolescence. Two, growth refers to qualitative events. Three, developmental tasks are age-related achievements. Or four, cognitive theories focus on emotional development. Okay, guys, and the correct answer is three, developmental tasks are age related. So at two years old, there's certain milestones we accept that we, we expect the child to achieve versus 10 years old versus 15 years old versus a middle adult. So three is the correct answer. Now let's look at the other choices so you can see why they're wrong. Choice one, development ends with early adolescence. No, it doesn't. Development ends with death. As we get older, we are continually learning, we're continually changing, we're continually developing. So it doesn't, it doesn't end until you die. So number one is false. Two, growth refers to qualitative events. No, growth um, refers to quantitative events. Quality, um, uh, qua uh, quantitative events. Qu qualitative, guys. So when we're talking about quantitative, Quantitative means how many? When you think about quantitative, you should be thinking about numbers. Two years old, five years old, 10 years old, 15 years old, 20 years old. Qualitative is the development, the quality, okay? Does that make sense? So that's why two's wrong where it says growth re um, refers to qualitative events, no quantitative number of years, okay? So that's why that's wrong. And then we have choice number four, cognitive theories focus on emotional development. No, guys, cognitive is how you think, how you process your thoughts. So cognitive theories, that's really on, pro on thought process, not emotion. So number three is the correct answer. According to Piaget, the infant is in the first period of development, which is characterized by one, concrete operations, two, pre-operational thought, three, sensor motor intelligence, or four, identity versus role confusion. I kind of gave you the answer to this already, so you guys should all get this correct. And the correct answer is three, sensor motor development. They gave you a hint, guys, in the question, so according to Piaget, the infant. And didn't I tell you from infancy to about two years, they're learning about their environment through what? Their senses. So correct, um, choice number three is the correct answer. Now let's look at the wrong answer choices. 
One, concrete operations. I've told you this already. We see concrete operations around when? Two to seven years old, okay? This is when they can perform, you know, two to seven. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. Concrete operations, 7 to 11 years old, much older than 2 to 7. Uh, 7 to 11 years old. And this is where, where they can start computing and doing minor operations in their head. Okay, so we see this in 7 to 11 years of age. You know, they can start to add and they start, can start to subtract. Just minor um, operations, but they can do it in their head. Choice two, pre-operational uh, thought. This is the one that we see two to seven years old. And this is where, you know, they can start to um, correlate images and symbols with items, okay? So that's pre-operational pre thought. We see that two to seven years old. And then for identity versus role confusion, you guys already know we see this in the pu um, pu pubescent, the adolescent guys. And by the way, for where it says identity versus um, role um, confusion, this is Ericsson, not Piaget, okay? Just so you know, don't, it's very important because you're gonna be tested on this. You do have to know each of the theorists and you have to know the name of each um, developmental uh, task for the theorists because for t testing purposes, they will mix them all up. And if you don't know it, you're gonna get it jumbled in your head. So for this, the correct answer is number um, three. The nurse is working with a new mother who will, who will require surgery. The follow-up treatment will interfere with bonding. In applying Freud's theory, the nurse recognizes that the stage of development that may be affected is the one, oral stage, two, anal stage, three, phallic stage, or four, latent stage. And guys, the correct answer is one, oral stage. And they gave us a hint in the question. They told us it's a new mother, which means this baby was just born, okay? And if it's going to interfere with bonding, remember, everything about that infant is all about that oral phage. This is where they receive their gratification. This is where they feed, right? And this is when, when the child is fussy, mama give them pacifier because they get their satisfaction orally. So the correct answer is one, oral stage. Remember, that oral stage last, guys infancy birth to one years old then you have the um phallic the phallic the anal stage which we see this in the toddler years so about 12 months to 18 months is the anal stage and matter of fact this anal stage can even go all the way up to three years this is the stage where that child's learning how to potty train right? And when they learn how to hold their bladder and hold that rectal sphincter, you know, they get the good boy, good girl, right? They feel good about themselves. So the anal stage, 12 to 18 months, but it really can go all the way up to three years because of toilet training. Now we have three, the phallic stage. Where do we see the phallic stage? Three years old to six years old. And this is where they're interested in the genitals, especially the boys. You see them touching themselves down there all the time. They're just very interested um, in their genitals. And then the latent stage, that is 6 to 12 years old. And if you notice, guys, that latent stage, they go from being very, you know, um, interested in their genitals to finding other activities that are socially acceptable to replace that um, interest in the genitals. And if you notice that coincides with what? Them going to school, you know? It's not socially acceptable for them to be touching themselves down there so they find other things to be interested in. So that latent stage, we see it around six to 12 years of age. They actually re start to repress that interest that they have in their genital areas. According with Erickson's theory, it is expected by the nurse that a middle-aged adult client will be involved in the process of one, developing a sense of identity, two, searching for meaning of life, three, enhancing one's capability to love others, or four, expanding personal and social involvement. And the correct answer is for expanding personal and social involvement. Guys, this is the age. And in, in the they gave you a clue in the question. They say middle age, right? So this adult's getting older. They're not older age, but they're middle age. And 
this is the age where they want to give back to the next generation. They want to make sure that they leave their footprint, a positive footprint on the world. And so we tend to see them getting um, um, involved and being mentors. Okay, now let's look at our other choices. One, developing a sense of identity. We see that in puberty, in the adolescence. That's what's important to the teenager, um, figuring out who they are. And they, remember, they figure out who they are through their social groups. Remember, so socialization is very important to the adolescent. Choice two, searching for the meaning of life. That's in the old age. Choice three, enhancing one's capability to love others. We see that in the young adult where they start to develop what? That um, intimacy, right? And then choice four, of course, which is a correct answer. This is where they want to give back to the younger generation. The primary purpose for the nurse to understand human growth and development is to be able is, excuse me, guys, I can't read today. I'm sorry. The primary purpose for the nurse to understand human growth and development is to be best able to, one, identify deviations from the normal, two, select effective nursing interventions, three, be sensitive to age-appropriate needs, or four, enhance nurse-client communication. And the correct answer is one, identify deviations from the normal. Okay, you have to know what is expected at what age so that if there's a deviation, we can catch it quickly and we can intervene quickly. So that's the most important reason we do this so we can identify when something's wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. And take action right away. Next question. Let me adjust my camera here. Which of the following should the nurse consider first when assessing the cognitive ability of an older adult? One, a lifelong bachelor. Two, orphaned at the age of 12. Three, history of chronic disease process. Or four, recent immigration to the U.S. And guys, the correct answer is for recent um, immigration to the U.S. Remember, guys, when we're talking about cognition, we're talking about how a person thinks. So if the person's a new immigrant, maybe they don't understand the language or maybe the culture is different. So it's not that they're not thinking correctly. It just may be a clash of cultures or language. So that is going to be uh, the most important thing that needs to be investigated. As described by Freud, the nurse recognizes that a young adult best shows a well-developed superego when he, one, tells a friend that he'll help him stop smoking, two, returns a lost wallet to a stranger who dropped it, three, arranges for a cab ride home after consuming alcohol, or four, has 10% of his salary automatically transferred to his savings. And guys, the correct answer is three, arranges for a cab ride home after consuming alcohol. Remember, that's super ego, that's the moral, that's the conscious part of the personality, right? So that's the one that is the good angel saying, do the right thing. And so number three, that person consumed alcohol, they want to do the right thing. They don't want to drink and drive. They don't want to hurt someone else. So three is the correct answer. The nurse is caring for a six-year-old child who is scheduled for outpatient surgery. Piaget's theory of cognitive development suggests that the nurse can help the child cope with the stressors of this hospital experience by one, arranging for the parents to be with the child until the anesthetic takes effect, two, explaining the entire process with the child using age-appropriate language, three, using play as a means of familiarizing the child with the events he will likely experience, or four, providing the child with a coloring book that shows the events he will be experiencing. And guys, the correct answer is three. I've said this to you a million times. The work of the child is what? Play. That is how they learn, through play. So three is the correct answer. Um, play is the work of the child, guys. That's how they learn about their environment and they learn about certain processes. So for that six-year-old child, three... For that six-year-old child, play is uh, a perfect thing uh, to do to help them cope with the stressor. 
and we are already down to our last question. Which of the following client statements made by an older adult best reflects an understanding of the decrease in physical strength and stamina in this developmental stage? One, I know I'm not as young as I used to be. Two, I just hire help with jobs I can't do for myself. Three, you get older and you can't do as much, that's life. Four, I have to ask my son for help with the yard work. And guys, the correct answer is too, I just hire help with the jobs I can't do. So this patient's recognizing that they're not as strong as they used to be, but the second thing is that uh, they're adjusting properly. They're hiring somebody to help them with the jobs that they just cannot do, okay? You should have um, limited your answers to the correct answer, which is two and four, because four is good. I have to ask my son for help with the yard. Here's the problem between two and four. Four says, I have to. So you can kind of tell that's a burden on the per per patient saying, I have to ask my son for help. Where two, you can tell it's really not a big deal to them. They're just moving along with it. It's saying, I just hire help when I need it. So that's why two is the correct answer and not four. One, I'm, I know I'm not as young as I used to be. Okay, that's good. You recognize that you're not as strong as you used to be, but how are you adjusting? Choice three, you get older and you can't do much about it. That's life. No, that person's not adjusting because there is something you can do about it. You're going to get help with the areas of your life that you need help with. Guys, I hope that you found this video helpful. I have audio lessons that are going to be released on my website very soon. So make sure you guys check nexusnursinginstitute.com and you'll see all the information about my audio lessons that are coming soon. Please don't forget guys to like and subscribe below. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram. The handle is the same, Nexus Nursing, and I'll see you on the next video.